Hey people, it is Wednesday, December the 14th. The time is 5.40 in the late afternoon. And it's currently around minus 2 degrees Celsius, but feeling colder with the wind chill. And I'm here on Gerard Street East with the lovely Megan, who's in town just for one night tonight, because we're on our way to Megan's work Christmas party at Italy, which is a nice eatery up on Bloor Street in the Mink Mile. Yes. And I've never been, so I'm very excited. And Megan's never been. I've been one time to Italy, just as a visitor. Yeah, let's get past that ridiculous scene. The guy is literally beating up his bike. The yeah. guy is having an actual fight with his bike and beating the crap out of it and talking to it as he does so. So anyway, let's just, let's just blow past that one. <laughs> we'll let him continue on with his bicycle beat down <laughs> and we'll make our way over to Church Street and then we'll be walking north on Church all the way up to Bloor. That's what you should call this, the bicycle beatdown walk. The bicycle beatdown walk, yep. <laughs> It's a quick baby title. Yep. <laughs> since it will only feature in like three seconds of the video. So. <laughs> I think his wheel was stuck and it wasn't turning, and that's why he was mad at his bike. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. <laughs> because the bike can understand. Yeah. And we'll fix the problem immediately. It's probably an easy fix, but he was just in no condition to <laughs> undertake that task. <laughs> so, a bicycle beat down it was. So, anyway. <laughs> So I did a video of Italy right after it first opened, and that was like three years ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I remember when you did the Italy video, too. Yeah, and that was one of the first videos I did after getting my new Osmo Pocket camera, which I'm still using three years later. Oh well, yeah, that's right, it was. Yep. <laughs> I remember the day you bought your camera, too. Yep. We weren't even dating yet. Well. <laughs> I remember you telling me about it. That's right. Yeah, we're just crossing Jarvis. So you might know that Megan lives in Guelph, but the company she works for is based here in Toronto. So the Christmas party is obviously taking place here and not in Guelph. Yes. So she made the trip in just for the party tonight. Glad to do it. Any excuse to be in the city. Right? <laughs> Any excuse at all. When we were planning it, my boss was like, so I'm thinking Toronto because it's like central to where everyone else is because we all work remotely. Right. So she's like, she's like, can you make it in? I'm like, literally any day, any time, you just tell me, I'll be there. No problem. Any excuse to be in the city. Not a problem at all. Right. She's like, all right. <laughs> yeah, when you did that first Italy video, that was like, we had just started dating. That was like just after. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that was like opening day for Italy or one yeah. of the, I, it might have been the very opening day and it was jam packed. Yeah, I remember. It was jam packed. I could barely walk through there and I was glad to get out of there actually to end the video. Well, it survived the pandemic. Yep. <laughs> it opened like two months before the pandemic started, like craziness. Yep. I was cleaning up my inbox today, like my Gmail inbox. And I had like over 9,000 read, like unread emails in there, mostly like junk, but I finally was like, hey, I'm just going to do something about this. So I went back and like deleted all of the junk emails and like sorted through my inbox. And then I was like going through when I got to like the very end of my inbox, there were emails in there from like, like December 2019 and like January 2020. And I was like, oh, the before times. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look what I was doing in the before times. <laughs> it's weird because I feel like we've been dating for like longer than COVID has been around, but really like it's been around the same time. Yeah. Like, our relationship is about as old as COVID. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Which is weird, because, like, COVID feels like it hasn't... 
been around that long, like the before times still feel like they were not that long ago, but it feels like I've been dating you forever. Yeah, three years? I don't know, it doesn't seem like that long ago to me, you know? Three really? years, yeah. It seems like, it doesn't seem that long ago when I think about like the start of COVID, but it seems like a long time when I think about the start of our relationship. Yeah. All right, so now we're on church heading north. It's a 24 hour AW. If I ever get a late night AW craving. craving, which I doubt I ever will, but it's <laughs> nice to know that it's there. You know all those burgers you eat? I guess they have veggie burgers here. Yeah, they do have veggie burgers. They have the Beyond Meat, I think, good. veggie burgers. Actually, I think I had my first Beyond Meat burger at AW. Yeah, me too. I just tried it just to try it. Yeah, same. I thought it was good, but I thought it was you know too saying, small like you to be for the price that it was. It was like $6 or something. Yeah. And I thought it was just too small. I was like, this is not enough burger <laughs> for $6. <laughs> yeah, it was more like a snack almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember like I got a pretty hefty you know side of fries to make up for that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was with Jim, my friend Jim, who was in town visiting when we went there to try it. Oh, really? Yeah. Jim's not a vegetarian, though, is he? Yeah, he is. Oh, is he? I didn't know that. Yep. Carlton Street. There's Loblaws. I love that Loblaws. The neighborhood Loblaws at the old Maple Leaf Gardens. That's where that good cheese popcorn is. Yeah. That's where I get my Delicio veggie pizzas. Oh, he loves that. Surprisingly, Loblaws has the best prices for Delicio pizzas even compared to some of the supposedly discount grocers, you know, like Freshco or No Frills. Yeah, because they have sales too. But we yeah. found, like, on the weekend, we found some good pizzas at, like, a good price. Yeah, well, Metro has good sales for pizzas sometimes, but they don't carry the Delicio veggie pizzas. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, they used to, but they stopped carrying them, like, several years ago. Why? I have no idea why. I don't think that's supposed to be bent over like that. <laughs> I was wondering, how does that happen? Is that like from a car hitting it? Maybe that guy who was beating up his bike got mad at that thing too. <laughs> he has super hair in his face. It looks like a new restaurant is opening here. Oh, ramen and dumplings. Yeah. Oh, we should go Well, it's good that an actual restaurant is opening at the base of this condo not another useless bank which is actually on the other side of the yeah. building no we should like go check out that restaurant ramen is so good because i think that new condo the retail spaces at the bottom are a a bank a penguin pickup yeah. <laughs> 
a fuzz bar, whatever that is. What is a fuzz bar? I don't it's know. It's like a wax bar. <laughs> oh, okay. Wax. Oh, see, see, nothing of any interest to <laughs> to, to me personally. Well, if you're a girl yeah. in the summertime. I suppose, yeah. It's pretty good. But at least one restaurant is coming to the <laughs> to the podium. Yeah, I like it, yeah. There's a really good ramen place in Guelph called Crafty Ramen. And they were actually just on Dragon's Den because they sell like at home crafty ramen kits, which they started doing during the pandemic to like stay open. And uh, they became really popular. And uh, so they went on Dragon's Den and they were awarded like a huge sum of money and they're going to like repackage their ramen kits and they're going to go national with them so you'll be able to buy crafty ramen kits in like grocery stores across canada oh. which is pretty cool i was like oh started in guelph that's pretty awesome that's good go guelph and a friend of mine who's like a graphic artist she did their logo and she did like all the package design and stuff for their at-home ramen kits so i was like if we keep her on board she's gonna have a pretty sweet deal yeah <laughs> See, good things do happen in golf. Yeah. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Nev Campbell, you got Jane Sibbery. That's right. <laughs> and you got that. <laughs> and the, uh, what's the other one? That children's author. Robert Munch. Robert Munch. There you go. That's right. <laughs> and you know, Megan Sandor. So there you go. Me, that's yeah. <laughs> All of Guelph stood up a little straighter the day I moved back there. <laughs> like, ah, look who's back. Right. <laughs> Got to straighten up our game. <laughs> and also the Constantines, which is a good band that I used to be into. They're from Guelph. So there you go. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's not all bad. No. <laughs> Dare I say. And we are walking through the Church Wellesley Village here. Tobacco nist and not tobaccoist. I do not know. <laughs> you always wonder that. I could eat. All I've had today is a bowl of cereal. Yeah, that's not enough. So far. Gotta feed your body. I had my overnight oats this morning. And then I had a chocolate and apple. And I think that's all I've eaten today. Yeah. So. Well, normally by now I would have eaten more than a bowl of cereal, but. I knew we were coming for this meal, so I kind of just thought, well, let's just save my hunger for this, you know? Yeah. That's what I did also. I normally, <laughs> I eat like a pretty big lunch. I have a big lunch salad with like either ham or eggs and walnuts and stuff every day. But I didn't eat my lunch salad today because I knew that we were gonna have a big dinner. Yeah. So I'm also pretty hungry. And this is the day before the big snowfall. Yep. Sorry. This is Church in Wellesley. The actual intersection, not the neighborhood. <laughs> Although it is both <laughs> the intersection and the neighborhood. <laughs> Where 
really, really good. Really, really good. And the little alley, that's awesome. Yep. restaurant in there called Lola's Kitchen. Yeah. yeah. In there? Yeah. Where the Stormcrow Manor is now? Uh, right beside it. Okay. Yeah. Detroit style pizza. No. Like what is Detroit style pizza though? I think it's square. Oh, okay. <laughs> Across the street? Yeah. I don't know. Probably pretty plain and ordinary would be my guess. Yeah, but like size-wise, like older buildings have bigger apartments. Yeah, they might be a good size. Because like the newer condos have, like they're really nice on the inside, but they're really small. Yeah. Whereas the older apartment buildings, like the 70s slabs and 60s yeah, buildings, much they have plain looking units, but they're really big. Yeah. Yeah. Isabella Street. Charles Street.
There's another 24 hour AW. Yeah, Hayden Street. Really? There's a burrito place, Z-Teca. They used to have locations all around downtown, but it's not as many as there used to be. Have you ever been there? Yeah, there used to be one near my place, right at Church and Gerard, right where we walked past earlier, but it's gone. Are they any good? They're all right. It's, it's pretty similar to the burritos at Burrito Boys or Fat Bastard. So here we are at Bloor and Church. So now we're going to start heading west on Bloor Street. Towards Jenny Bloor. Yeah, Italy is not much further ahead. It's just before you hit Young, right? It's okay. after Young. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Right at Young and Bloor. Or Young and, what am I saying? At Bay and Bloor. <laughs> oh, it's at Bay and Bloor. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. <laughs> Is that once you put the hat on, you have to commit to it. Yeah. You can't take it off. Here's another burrito place, Chipotle. Now they have been expanding all around downtown. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Good. There used to only be a couple of Chipotles in all of downtown. Yeah, I know. There was like one near Union Station on Front Street. Yeah, and one near Young and Dundas. Right. And now there's all kinds of them. No offense to anyone who loves Chipotle. I thought they were pretty similar also to Burrito Boys, but their prices were higher and the uh, portions were smaller, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't think they t I, I, I ate them like once and they weren't like, amazing. Yeah. And the Firkin on Bloor, I think this is closed. Yeah, well, something cool. is something is afoot here. I guess they're working on the Young Bloor Station. They're expanding Young Bloor Subway Station. Oh, are they? Yeah. Well, it's good because it's like so busy all the time and there's like not yeah. enough room. Because, yeah, it's the busiest subway station in the whole subway system. It's the busiest like subway station in Canada. Yeah, and one of the busiest in North America. I think yeah. there's only a couple, maybe three or four stations in Manhattan that are busier, yeah. right? And like Young and Bloor is so small. Like at rush hour it's a nightmare. There's people yep. like crammed, like you get elbows in your face, like you can't even move. Yep. It's good they're expanding it.
somebody was doing something and they weren't supposed to be doing. <laughs> but no one ever haunts the Toronto though. <laughs> right. But no one haunts here. <laughs> Down Young Street. I like to walk under the scaffolding when I'm recording. Oh, it's is not it like in truck the signal. Well, no, it just doesn't look very nice. Oh, I guess. You know. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and here we are at the Mink Mile, Bloor Street West. Italy. So I'll just take us inside and then I'll start to wrap up the video. Do you know where we're going exactly or <laughs> no? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the walk from basically where I live up here to Bay and Bloor at the Italy Food Hall, Emporium, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we're going to start getting ready for dinner here for Megan's work Christmas party. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment below if you did. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure you hit the notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button right down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. And you can find me on Instagram also under K Continuum, And you can find Megan under both Instagram and YouTube on under Megan Sandor. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always That's right. <laughs> we will continue.